AutoAssembler allows users to import 2D cutting plans into a 3D editor, here Cube. AutoAssembler accomplishes the 2D to 3D conversion by searching the exponential space of possibilities in search of the most plausible configuration. The benefit of converting to 3D is that it makes it easy to apply parametric changes, such as the adjustment of the focal range on this VR headset. The main contribution of AutoAssembler is that it performs this conversion in an automatic fashion. AutoAssembler uses a beam search algorithm to search the space of ways to combine the plates in a model. It starts out with a plate that has the most joints. AutoAssembler then generates new versions by adding matching plates. AutoAssembler now estimates how likely the respective model is still correct. Testing showed that a beam width of 4 was sufficient to reach a high success rate. This means that it takes the four best scoring candidates and generates new children from these. AutoAssembler recursively performs this procedure until all plates are assembled. The key to the success of this algorithm is the heuristics function. that calculates the scores based on the weight sum of six heuristics and two procedural steps to narrow down the search base at each stage. 1. AutoAssembler prefers candidates with small bounding boxes. Here, for example, adding the red plate increases the size of the bounding box. AutoAssembler thus prefers to add in this green plate, because typical laser cut models are constructed in a compact way. 2. Inserting the bearing for the wheels of this train wagon causes the plates to intersect. AutoAssembler avoids intersecting plates, even at the expense of producing a model with a larger bounding box. 3. There is a large number of ways to insert this plate into the model. The real problem is the plate AutoAssembler inserted before this plate, which had four different matching joints in 16 orientations. AutoAssembler prevents this from happening by preferring this candidate, which has only one other joint in two orientations. Assembling that plate first poses constraints to later on minimize plausible orientations of the joints on other plates. 4. This red plate adds multiple unmatched joints to the candidate. This heavily increases the number of candidates to consider on the next stage. AutoAssembler therefore prefers this candidate, as it only adds one new unmatched joint. Five. This red plate can be inserted in at least four ways. The green plate, in contrast, is constrained by all other plates. AutoAssembler thus prefers to insert this plate first. The plate introduces additional constraints into the model, disambiguating the subsequent placement of the red plate. 6. On this stage, AutoAssembler picks these four candidates, which all assemble different plates and joints. Even though the first four candidates received a higher score, only one of those is correct, so every single one of them has a reduced probability. Sampling broader increases the chance to pursue a good assembly here. 7. The red plate in this candidate does not adhere to the symmetry axis of the bottom plate. It is flipped the wrong way around. AutoAssembler thus prefers to assemble the plate as shown here in green. 8. This plate is symmetric. The top half is the same as the bottom half. AutoAssembler recognizes this and thus only tries to assemble this plate in one orientation. The same goes for this plate with a vertical symmetry axis. AutoAssembler reduces the search space further by deduplicating plates that are the same. This barrel model, consisting of 12 plates with 58 joints, is reduced to 3 types of plates with 19 joints. In our technical evaluation with 66 models, AutoAssembler achieved a 79% success rate in a median runtime of 0.3 seconds. AutoAssembler completed an additional 18% of models by letting users manually disambiguate the results. For this purpose, we added two tools to the menu. Fixing a model required on average 2.7 clicks.
In conclusion, AutoAssembler allows users to automatically convert 2D cutting plans to 3D models for laser cutting. This grants users access to laser cut models found online, almost as if these had been shared in 3D in the first place.